Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and today we are taking a look at Forza Motorsport. So this is the developer direct presented by Xbox and Bethesda. So this is a video they released uh, showing what they've done with this franchise. Obviously they've taken off the number and are going straight to just Forza Motorsport. So what's interesting is that I've actually never played a Forza game before so I've never played Forza Horizon never played a Forza Motorsport game so coming into this I'm strictly looking at it from F1 2020 or uh, NASCAR Heat 5 NASCAR Ignition uh, when it comes to racing also Project Cars 3 etc so taking a look at this is going to be kind of interesting uh, definitely sounds like it should be pretty good but let's take a look at uh, what they've done with this game and uh, yeah let's see what they got I'm Chris Osaki, and welcome to Turn 10 Studios. The team is hard at work bringing you the next generation of Forza Motorsport, built from the ground up to take advantage of the Xbox Series consoles. This is the most technically advanced racing game ever made. Today, I'm joined by some of our amazing team members to show you how we are making it look real, sound real, and feel real. This is Forza Motorsport. <laughs> Alright, so just off of that, I already like it. <laughs> yes! It has classic American muscle cars. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. That, uh, that, that makes me think very much... Um, Real Racing 3, Real Racing 3, the mobile game. It makes me think that very, very much. That that, that looks cool. I like it. All right, let's keep going here. At launch, Forza Motorsport features over 500 cars for you to collect, race, and customize with more than 800 oh, wow, that unique really good. This includes over 100 new to motorsport cars, the most modern race cars we've ever featured on our roster. Racing is violent. It's a battle on the racetrack. The advancements in our physics model are greater than Forza Motorsport 5, 6, and 7 combined. This makes our driving experience more fun and rewarding in the way the car accelerates corners and brakes. Our materials and shaders are built from the ground up at higher resolutions and optimized for a cutting edge ray tracing experience. Our paints are sourced using a spectrophotometer to capture multiple data points of light behavior on a surface. This yields a paint model that has a much more realistic light response across color, metal flake, and gloss. That's really cool because that is something that's very, very important uh, to be able to get right is the different shades of the color of the car and then also be able to have those different um, styles of paint show up in the different lighting because like uh, in some games like I think NASCAR Heat 5 you obviously had uh, with that you had gloss and then you had uh, matte and so the in just the studio they had their one look and really that's the same look that you had on the track as well it never really changed because of the because of the lighting and so that's really cool to be able to see there and uh, that's that's pretty interesting damage and dirt buildup is unique to each car it's now contextually aware and more localized. We simulate paint thickness, chipping, and directionality. Dirt accumulation is more realistic, gathering more in the low pressure areas like recesses and alcoves. These innovations tell the story of the work you put into a race and reflects the marks and battle scars of motorsport. And that's very important as well to be able to get the dirt, because that's one thing I, I actually never thought of when looking at the dirt on cars and other games is that you have the low pressure high pressure areas with the air intake and aerodynamics that's interesting so I don't know quite how they would have mapped that but that sounds fascinating and uh, that, that should look pretty cool but then also as I said too with uh, oh I see said with the being in the kitty litter the different uh, uh, rubbing here and there, being able to actually have the paint scuff or the rubber build up on the car from those interactions and then have that go through all the way to the end of the race. 
uh, that's pretty interesting because I think like Project Cars Three had that to some extent, but really it just I don't know it didn't really feel that real. It felt very it just felt like the car was getting dirty. Honestly, it didn't really feel real that it was constantly picking up stuff. It just felt like okay, uh, so many laps have come by. Let's throw some more dirt onto the car here. It really didn't feel quite as um, per incident per. Uh, whether or not you're in the dirt, whether you're not in the dirt, it really didn't feel like it really mattered either way on the track as much as just, oh, we, we, we've gone so many laps, so we're going to go ahead and just put some dirt on. So that would that's going to be kind of interesting to see how the progression of that is through a race happens. This is our best-sounding Forza Motorsport ever, and the first to be mixed natively for immersive audio formats like Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos. To create an immersive soundscape, each audio system has been rebuilt from the ground up to deliver a new level of sonic depth and authenticity for our players. Modifying car parts like your exhaust and turbo changed the car sounds in Forza Motorsport, just like it would in the real world. Every car now has a variety of sound possibilities based on the parts you've installed. Hardware Accelerated nice. Convolution Reverb accurately reproduces how sounds in Forza interact within an acoustic space, dynamically adapting to its surroundings and creating a realistic and detailed soundscape. That's huge because with Project Cars, uh, Project Cars Three, and then Real Racing Three. Uh, just thinking about those, you had the ability to upgrade the car. You were able to upgrade tires, uh, engines, uh, a bunch of different things for tons of money, uh, depending on what car it was. Real Racing Three, uh, they really made you pay a lot of money for those upgrades. But uh, still, you got the you got the performance, and I think really. Just from racing, real racing three, um, the experience from that is that you really didn't feel the power upgrade. In my opinion, it's just I never really felt I never really feel a difference with the power of the car upgrading the engine, upgrading this or that. But with the suspension, you actually felt it um, because the car started handling better, it started handling stuff smoother, and so that was nice. But yeah, having the upgrades actually change this way the car sounds just I mean you change you, you take the um, stock uh, muffler Cadillac converters you rip those off put the straight pipe racing exhaust on there uh, it should it's a absolutely sound different not only should it have a power change but it should definitely sound different so that's going to be interesting and then obviously supercharger turbo you upgrade the turbo you upgrade the supercharger you make them bigger you, you make them go smarter uh, that should definitely change how the engine sounds the winds the way yeah so i mean that 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 should be interesting i'm definitely excited about that that that's pretty cool new features like our regional track announcer system and improved tire and suspension audio bring in new that's level. interesting so they have per region they have a track announcer at the track so that's that's kind of interesting so instead of having the same person or persons throughout a game it's going to be different by what track or what area of the world you visit that's kind of interesting that's cool of realism to the game hear forza motorsport like never before every tire squeal every engine lap after lap it sounds really good Forza Motorsport launches with 20 environments, built from the ground up for this generation. You'll get to race on iconic fan favorites, as well as five all new to motorsport locations, including our first in South Africa, Kailami. We capture our environments to an incredible level of detail. When we reference a track, our team comes back with over three terabytes of highly detailed photogrammetry and laser scan data. Through the power of the Xbox Series consoles, we're able to use this data to draw up to 10 times more detail than previous generations. You'll see lush trees, wow. dense grass and overgrowth vegetation, animated track life, physically based lighting and volumetric fog effects, and a fully procedural cloud system that evolves organically. Tracks look alive, That's cool. sound alive, and feel alive with cutting edge visuals and crowds consisting of tens of thousands of fully animated 3D spectators, so you're always immersed in the pure spectacle of racing. That's a lot of spectators. That is that is a ton. So, 
there are individually animated spectators. So in other words, we're not just copying, pasting. That that that's a that's a lot indi- of individuals actually doing stuff. Um, one thing I would have concern about is uh, the graphics requirements, honestly, uh, with that many people. Uh, but uh, that sounds fascinating. But also one thing that I saw earlier too was uh, you saw the tree in the background actually had leaves falling from it during fall. That that that's a pretty cool feature. The clouds look really good. You got fireworks in the game for when fireworks are actually happen during a race. So I mean that's that's pretty cool. So uh haven't seen Daytona yet, so I'm gonna hope that that means that if you ran the Daytona twenty four or simulated it, you would be able to actually see the fireworks at the certain point at midnight to be able to see that. That would be kind of interesting, not sure. But uh Interesting. That uh, that the graphics are really good right there. For the first time in Forza Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day with weather ensures a constantly evolving racing experience where no two laps ever look the same. Meanwhile, dynamic track temperatures, wet driving surfaces, and rubbering in ensure that no two laps ever play the same. I love the detail our talented team of artists have built into Kailami. Fast forward to night, and the vista is truly breathtaking. You can see wow. the distant light glows of the city, a beautiful that is cool. touch. Even the Kailami logo itself creates visual impact every time you see it, thanks to ray trace global illumination, which simulates how hundreds of thousands of light rays accumulate color as they bounce between surfaces. We're rendering all our environments in 4K at 60 FPS, with real-time ray tracing on track to create true-to-life that is cool. So looking at the reflection on the car, then you see the reflection on the carbon fiber spoiler, then the reflection on the GTR and Nissan logo. That's cool. That looks very, very realistic. That is cool. I like that. That is, that is awesome. Take reflections on all smooth mirror and flat glass surfaces. With the incredible detail and rendering features of our track environments, Forza Motorsport is truly a generational leap ahead with unmatched visual fidelity and authenticity. Forza Motorsport is back, and it's our most comprehensive game ever. With over 500 cars and 20 environments with more new race cars than ever before. You can experience all of this in our incredible new online racing mode and in our all new car building focused single player career. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on this incredible game. So that is really cool looking. So uh, obviously uh, online career, which is uh, great, but then also having the single player career as well. That's going to be really cool. Uh, the, I really do like how the game looks. Over 500 cars in it. Uh, that's insane. Uh, classic muscle cars in there. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, there's just there's a, there's a lot of cars in there. That is definitely really really cool. Uh, one thing I, I'm not totally sure what I'm hearing is. 20 environments I'm not sure what, what is that referring to is that referring to just tracks or is that referring to um, environments they built for multiple tracks I'm, I'm not totally sure what that means the way that was said because they built an environment for that one track in South America so I'm kind of I'm kind of confused about that uh, I'm going to hope that there's going to be more tracks than just 20 but uh, I'm not totally sure that, that that's kind of weird but anyways uh, it looks amazing uh, I'm definitely kind of excited about trying to get my hands on this figure out a way to be able to play it at some point uh, obviously it looks like it's requiring Xbox Series X or Steam so uh, I'll have to look at that uh, in the future here for the channel or uh, one of my channels and uh, see what we can do but I definitely would like to try this game out uh, it looks really good and um, yeah, sounds like there's a lot of detail. Uh, one thing that I'm uh, concerned about, and this is just for my NASCAR Ignition experience, is uh, they focused a ton on the look of the game. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure just from what I've heard from other people talking about the, this franchise that they do an excellent job when it comes to the actual racing but uh, it just seems like there is quite a bit of a focus on how the game looks over necessarily how the game actually plays so uh, that's just a little skepticism from my uh, ignition experience uh, I'm not gonna say that that is what's gonna happen but just a little eh, little a little iffy but uh, I, it looks it looks incredible and there's a lot of cool cars in there so I'm gonna have to take a look to see what I can do at some point to uh, try out this game and uh, hopefully you guys uh, can be able to try it out as well because that thing looks uh, pretty cool so we're gonna have to see see what it does when it uh, releases see what kind of tracks they got etc but that looks really cool so anyways guys let me know uh, what you think about uh, how the game looks uh, let me know what cars you're excited about uh, the most and uh, if there's anything that I'm missing uh, from my thoughts on the game uh, leave those in the comments and uh, we will see you guys here next time on the combustion gamer YouTube channel thanks guys for coming on and watching and uh, we'll be back with more racing content here in the future thanks for watching bye bye